In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a sector mesh in ANSYS Forte, which will be used to model the combustion in a diesel engine from intake valve closure to exhaust valve opening. In this case, I am modeling an axisymmetric combustion chamber of a diesel engine during the closed portion of the diesel combustion cycle. Since the physics of diesel combustion is inherently axisymmetric, I will only need to simulate the combustion process on a sector of the entire geometry. In this case, the injector nozzle contains 8 injection holes, so the fluid behavior in a 45 degree sector will represent the flow in the complete combustion chamber. Using a sector mesh will greatly reduce the computational cost of this analysis. At this point, I've started a new case in ANSYS Forte. Now I will open the sector mesh generator tool, which is located under the geometry branch. To create a sector mesh, I must first add a bold profile, which may be added using a .csv file containing the XY pairs. Alternatively, the points may be added to these columns manually. I am adding the bold profile using a .csv, which doesn't contain any column headers, so I need to uncheck the Read Column Titles option before continuing. As we can see, the bold profile has a very simple shape, which is outlined using only three XY pairs. To complete the definition of the sector mesh's geometry, I must define the sector angle. The sector angle is the angular fraction of the combustion chamber that will be simulated. As discussed before, the sector angle often depends on the number of injector holes in the injection nozzle. Since there are 8 injection holes, the combustion chamber has 8 fold rotational symmetry, and thus, a 45 degree sector angle is required. Next, I need to add pertinent engine dimensions that define the two-dimensional cross-section of the angular sector. In the viewer, I can inspect the defined line profile to ensure that its geometry was specified correctly. To finish defining the sector mesh, I need to describe the mesh's topology. In Forte, the mesh topology is defined using topology templates. Six different templates with different bull profiles are available. In this case, topology template 3 most closely reflects my bull profile. Looking more closely at the topology template, we can see that the topology is split into multiple labeled segments. The cell count in each of these segments is controlled using these inputs. The circumferential cell count controls the number of cells stacked in the circumferential direction. Radial cell count 1, 2, and 3 control the number of cells packed in the radial direction between the center axis and segments I1, I2, and I3, respectively. Similarly, axial cell count 1, 2, and 3 control the number of cells packed in the axial direction within segments K1, K4, and K5, respectively. Now to generate the mesh. Here you can see that I have generated a three-dimensional volume mesh, which reflects one-eighth of the combustion chamber's total volume. With the sector mesh created, I can transfer it to an existing Forte project using the Import to Forte project option. Alternatively, I can export and save the mesh. This concludes this demonstration, showing you how to quickly generate a sector mesh for an axisymmetric diesel combustion chamber using ANSYS Forte.